here at a Fusion. But if it's one thing I know for sure, Mott, this is going to be a crazy stylish set. This is just going to be, first of all, these are two hard hitters. These are the oh, best yeah. of the best up here in top three, fighting for that spot against Leon, right? Who's sitting very, very prettily in grand finals. Now, like you said, these are two style, style, you know, kind of players. They like to style on each other. They love to go for things like Wolf Flash, Bouncing Fish. We love to go for, you know, random forward smash in the middle of the stage like Jocko likes to do. It's just a, a matter of who's going to style the other one. And by, def by default, it should be sh but Jackal just already on the board, really, yeah. really doing well. Yeah, I mean, this is what we were seeing a little bit earlier, right? I mean, we're talking about combo routes, right? And both of these players have combo routes, but when Jackal is able to get one hit in, it links to the other. We're expecting to see that from both sides. But once again, what Jackal has been doing very, very well all day from when we started jumping on this block is that he catches people's landings or, or jumps off of ledge extremely well. And when you're playing a character like Sheik, you have to be very mindful because Jackal is going to be looking for it every time. We're already seeing Seeing the looping percent and looping in another back air as well. Jackal is not playing around, Mott. Jackal's tech chasing is kind of insane. You know, the opportunity to utilize dash tag right after the tech roll towards a ledge that WebJP decided to go for was pretty much the defining factor in securing that second stock as well off stage with that back air. Now, again, we're back into his last situation against uh, for Web where you are the only climbing percentages. Now, Jackal was going for the read on the tech roll for that down smash button, that can be quite enough. As we leave Web off the stage for a little bit longer, Web able to come back to stage, however, and hopefully can we get anything started? I don't even think so. Yeah, Jackal being a very elusive with the movement here. I've said this about Wolf players and Palutena players. Going for the down air in the middle of neutral is a nice way to tell your opponent, stay there real quick while I set up for the next combo route. But instead, it will just be Jackal finding the smash for game one, a very solid game one, but I have to say Webb can definitely find a way to fight back into this, but you cannot let Jackal get the first hit. I mean, we see the route still kind of prime here from Webb, but look at this. Jackal just waits for you to swing first, then says, you know what? I got my hit, bet. Let me just keep it going here. My God, so clean. I'm saying that's the tech, that's the tech sheet I was talking about earlier. It's just clean gameplay from Jackal all around. There's a reason why he's first seed. I mean, I know he's in the loser's finals. Don't worry about that. But <laughs> there's a reason why he's in first seed. And it's that. just the 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 difference in approach in a in a in a punishment in punishment in combo routes. It's a lot going on here. But as I say all that, we are going over a small battlefield. We're concising that stage once more that WebJP wants to utilize against someone like Jackal, right? But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Jackal does fare very well in these scenarios where you think you put his back against the wall, you think that you tuck his tail between his legs, but really, he's shining even more than before. I just love the way that Jackal weaves in and out of aggressive and defensive playstyle. He recognizes when, you know what, hey, I don't really have the exact in I want to on the aggression, so let me just back up and wait for you to be the one that gets impatient. It's very good, especially in a game like Smash Ultimate, where we see a a little bit more of defensive gameplay at times. Still though, Webb doing an excellent job sending Jackal platform to platform, but it does not matter as Jackal loving the way that he's actually sending out the laser to try and position himself to get the follow up. Every time I watch this player, he's got something new for me to kind of ooh and ah about. I know, it's such a nice refresher as well, but on the WebJP side, we are here yeah, at least keeping it a lot more even and keeping it pretty much a buck with Jackal, almost Keep one to one. <laughs> that trick. <laughs> Ooh, that kind of like, that was scary. That was, that barely hit, you know, Webb in order to actually do anything really substantial. But that fourth throw is going to be enough to keep Webb in a really dis this very situation. The okay, would you get up? We're missing the smash. We get the tech roll. We get the, uh, not tech roll, hello. We get the chase. <laughs> okay. Yeah, still though, now with two up smashes not connecting on Jackal's side, we now get to put the spotlight back on Webb just a little bit. Look at this, waiting for the right time to go in. The needles are going to connect, but it's not going to be enough here. Now Jackal trying to get the, the Classico Tri-State Twister, not going to be able to find it. But Webb needles into Bouncing Fish. The grenade will not catch. And once again, two minutes in, first stock is not taken. And we're playing just a little bit more of a slower game, Mon. Ooh, no I was mind. just about to say... <laughs> At the two minute mark, we were at three socks. In the second, the millisecond, it went back to the under two minutes. It was enough for uh, for that first sock finally be taking in favor of Webb. And that's kind of the start we do need. As you see, the combo route just flying by beautifully. 
connecting each leg, each arm so nicely to get the nice 50% on the board. Oh my god, that back. Stop it. This is a hard hitting move. <laughs> I'm loving the way that when we got this set right, we're like, all right, these two players are going to run at each other. And now it's a little bit more methodical, right? Now the players have physically slowed down the tempo of the entire match because they don't want to mm -hmm. just run in all recklessly here. I mean, Webb at 137, 137 now 147. We're going to be able to get the back throw if we can find it. But look at Webb saying, you know what? No, I think I would just want to get all this extra credit with all the chip damage that she does. And then we'll talk about it still, though. The getup attack will be punished by the wolf dash attack from Jackal. And Jackal's now saying, let me find a way to get all this percentage back. And he was starting a really nice combo route, just starting from the, from the down throw as always in the dash tag, but opting to go for a more unsafe option, WebJP able to just kind of realize Sheik's faster, you know, movements to weave out that situation and kind of reverse it where now it's, it should have been Jackal off stage, but unfortunately going a little bit too deep, getting a little bit too greedy uh, off stage there, not allowing Jackal to kind of reset the situation. But as I say that, oh, we live those, my bad. We yeah, absolutely. Those. A great DI coming out from Jackal here, but it will be Webb finishing it off. Two stocks, 51% here, and the tempo is now Webb's to make, right? Unless Jackal's going to be able to link in the Nair back air here. Going for the hard read on the getup, but great timing by Webb here. It's still Jackal trying to find a way in. It will be the Nair dash attack. It's not going to be enough to take the stock just yet. The web landing on stage. I don't think Jackal was ready for that. The grenade actually stopping Jackal from lining up to hit the back air. And the grenade actually giving Web the green light to get this combo started. The needles into the down throw, into the up air, and that's 61%. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that combo lasted at least 10 seconds. It was so methodical, so beautiful, and it all ended up because Jackal was, was in a little bit longer of an animation because of Needles. And that is the incredible thing about Sheik, these little situations that just turn the tide so, so well, so quickly. Now it's again, Jackal in the deficit by a large margin, able, unable to clear the second stop off of Jet Web either. We are gaining these edge guards, we're gaining the forward guards, we're gaining the nares as well, but we're not gaining the kill throw. And that's because WebJP is mixing up the recovery on the ledge. We used to see the hard roll in, roll in, roll in, or get up attack, but now we're actually jumping in. But finally, finally, we are one to one, fresh new stock for Web off the angel platform. Nice catch on the up, dry down up air, and then we get the beautiful up smash. And Jacko, yeah, it just yeah. happens. I feel like, you know, we've seen Jackal all night go for that wolf flash to avoid the invincibility hit, right? So you went to the, Jackal went to the literal worst spot he could go to, right? You went up to the platform. You know what Webb is capable of on the platform, bro. Oh, <laughs> you can see, you can see Webb smile and Jackal shake his head like, oh man, I shouldn't have went there. Regardless though, we are 1-1. One, one. We are going back to bigger small battlefield. So we're going to have a little bit more space here. But Mott, I do have to bring up i mean we were assuming that small battlefield we were going to scrap a little bit more but that was actually a pretty defensive game for what it was i agree and i think even though the game plan was for a for both of them to scrap together. I think as the game went on, as we saw the respect start to build, 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 as we saw each other slow down the pace of the game, it kind of just became PS2, what PS2 <laughs> should be, right? So it's like PS2 at home, truly. <laughs> PS2 at home, that's it. <laughs> Calling Small Battlefield PS2 at home. Regardless, though, it is looking pretty even in this stock one, but we can't really say anymore because last game stock one was gone in a second, and the second game it was gone in two minutes. So here we go, though. Both players finding their hits in and out. It will be Webb getting that rapid jab, but look at Jackal once again looping the Nair into the back air so effortlessly. This is one of the best wolves for a reason. Ooh. And for a reason there is. Yeah, that Nair into back air has been doing wonders throughout the entirety of this set. We've been seeing it multiple times today. It's just a very, it's just a clean animation too. Boom, front, back, and it just <laughs> continues to be such a hard-hitting move. Now again, it's now WebGP in the deficit once more. It kind of a, a song and dance we have been seeing a little bit here. Not too often, thankfully, as Web is a very, very capable and talented player who will bring it back just as quickly as Wolf can dish it out, right? Now we're leaving Wolf off stage. What can we do? We get the bouncy fish, we get the nair into the bouncy fish, and that's enough to secure the the second the first stop. Yeah, it was beautifully spaced too. 
Jackal also reeled in his chair just a little bit. He was like, all right, you got that. And look at Webb now using all of that momentum to continue the combo here. This is what makes this player so scary, right? Because you think that the onslaught of hits is over and then boom, another grab comes in and resets the advantage for Webb here. But look at that by Jackal, an excellent wait. A little bit of the stutter step to make sure that Webb was going to line up for the dash attack. But I think Jackal a little, shooting a little bit too far, gonna get caught up with the dash attack. Got a little bit too greedy. I absolutely agree, Lyric. Just got a little bit too greedy and unfortunately suffered those consequences of those actions. And now again, that allows Webb to get one. Get this rage build up, which is what Sheik needs. A little bit more damage help Ooh. here. Excellent parry on the on the tail. Okay. My absolute bad web. I was not aware of your game. As we see, the onset just continue. The rapid jab getting punished though by a dash attack, but not gonna be enough to deter Web. Oh, my fault. The other one will though. <laughs> Yo, the first one doesn't work. Try the second one. Do it again. Do it again. I, 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 listen, do you know how many times I've gone for F smash? It doesn't work. And then I just go for two more and one of them works. It works. You just got to try again. Here we go, though. It is going to be Jackal getting locked up here and a couple of jabs here coming out from Webb. It's a fresh stop for Webb. Jackal with a little bit of rage, though, so we can get something started. But once again, Webb on the ledge is so dangerous. There's the air dodge down from Jackal recognizing I'm in danger. And now we're going to be able to get a punish. There's a down throw dash attack. But Jackal actually Actually playing it a little bit more reserved, trying to read the roll-in from Webb. And once again, Webb, Needle's Bouncing Fish, going to be able to send him up in the set 2-1. Match point for Webb. This is definitely a match point, and this is exactly why I wanted to see. I wanted to see the Sheik persevere, even though Wolfish is a hard hitter. And I believe in, like, two of the games, we... Sorry, excuse me, we did see Jackal. You know, get a nice clean, almost zero to death on a stock, right? Multiple times. I believe this game started out with such a thing. But it's just Webb's constant, well, literally his consistency, his combo route, and again, the art of running it back, keeping him alive <laughs> even longer. Again, 2 1, point, uh, set point for WebGP could go either way, however. Don't ever count any of these people out. No, definitely not. It's so hard to say off of just one interaction who can take this. Jackal going to be able to find down throw double dash attack to start us off this set here. And now we're going to get a little bit of pressure here coming out from Web. There's the down throw into the first up air. And I love the extension with the Nair as well. We're trying to trip up Jackal, right? I mean, these two players have played each other so often that sometimes we know exactly what our opponent going for but now Webb actually going for the mid-air stall and now we're going to be able to find the down throw back air but now Jackal actually putting himself into the corner saying you know what I don't know just quite yet let's still just figure it out exactly and we're kind of seeing that here both players they'll run in leave out run in weave out and then yep. finally it'll be Jet <laughs> Webb who is going to be approaching with the rapid jab again getting the needle or getting the explosive as well but it's still an even game could go either way yeah, it's so close. It's it's so hard to tell. Jackal, though, going to be able to fire the first back air. It's not going to be enough here. But look, we're already in position for it. I think Webb is done jumping from the ledge mod. I, we've seen it a ton of yeah. times that, that uh, Webb has gone for something a little bit tricky off the ledge, and then Jackal has just been like, well, you're there, back air right to the face. And now Jackal's actually having a little bit of a hard time punishing Webb getting off the ledge there, too. But now look at this. Both players playing a little bit more reserved here. There's the dash attack. It's not going to be enough. And now we're seeing shades of game number two, Mott, where first stock is not going anywhere in about a minute and a half. Yeah, we're almost at the two-minute mark into this set, and it's going... Like you said, very slowly, either one could really set the tone here. I believe whoever sets the tone for whoever gets the first talk is going to be taking this uh, this set, right? It's kind of been the the theme of both these characters, both these players. Even then, wow, living the four there is not going to be enough, however. I mean, sorry, leaving the nair not going to be enough, however, as Webb is able to come at the stage at 167, an absurd percentage for someone like Sheik, who should have fallen by, by a wolf back here, a wolf up smash, <laughs> even a forward smash that Jackal loves to do, but no, Webb survivability is the key. Yeah, both of these players surviving really, really well right now. 173 on WebJP. A, a sneeze from Wolf could do it, honestly, especially now when we're here on the ledge. 197, a Nair could do it, but now look at Web actually playing it aggressively from the ledge, throwing out that forward air hitbox to mess up Jackal just a little bit. And now we're two minutes and 30 seconds in, and the first stock has not gone off. Web living at 204, and now Jackal actually struggling to find a very decisive hit in. It's so hard to get in. Mott, what do you do? Disconnect. I don't know what else to tell you. 
it comes to a point where you are literally going back and forth. Nothing is connecting. Nothing. None of your hard hitting moves are really showcasing anything that could, you know, secure a potential start here. But it'll be Webb in lead of that. However, at 200%, what can we even start here before Wolf dash attacks? Grabs you, back throw, anything. Oh, we get the nair and hopefully a dry down. No, we get the bounce fish instead. Yeah, the falling Ooh. up air was a little bit spicy, right? We were potentially seeing a forward air off of it, but still it is going to be Jackal able to sneeze on Webb to just get that stock off here. But now here comes Jackal, double forward air into the up air. We're starting to cook up just a little bit. I like the up tilt there, but Webb recognizing, you know what? Let me just air dodge out and start again. I think the the nairs both from these players are so key to both of their play styles because they know their combo routes off of it, but now Jackal trying to find a way in. Webb being so, so strong right now. There's the Needles, no bouncing fish. Instead, we're going to catch the Wolf Flash onto the ledge with Needles and then Grenade. We're taking second stock and Webb is looking fantastic in the, on this game four. Webb is looking fantastic. Also on catching that habit of Jackal using Wolf Flash. You will see Jackal will use Wolf Flash before he uses that actual upbeat of Wolf, right? So when you're able to catch it with things like the explosives, with things like near needles, all that is sends Jack going to a kind of a what can I mix up my recovery with that web is so you already saw Webb's ledge play. Yeah. It is almost phenomenal, if not one of the best here in Tri-State, right? Jack will in the deficit, oh not in deficit, but you know. It could go either way still. I, I believe so in the vision. I believe in Jackal. I believe in the wolf. But WebJP looking super clean tonight. It's so hard to say, but look at Web the way that he's controlling the tempo, saying, you know what, Jackal, you're going to have to come to me. And every single time that Jackal finds a way in, it's not those decisive routes that we've been seeing all night. There's the down tilt up air. Another one of those could potentially even do it here. But look at this Web recognizing, you know what, I'm in a little bit of danger. Let me just reset here. Great parry onto the back air in corner pressure. And once again, Needles bouncing fish will seal Web spot in grand finals going up against Leon a little bit of a sigh of relief in the camera you can see that from Webb there you know what's really funny lyric what's funny tell me something no that's matter, hilarious no matter what way that match went it would have been a run back against Leon that's true and that is beautiful of course as it. we want to refresh everyone's mind real fast in the best of three Leon did take a 2-1 over Web JP right so it's time for Web JP to hopefully reverse that, get the three one, get the three zero. I yeah. wish you a very happy three zero tonight, WebJP, and a reset. And, and <laughs> on top of that, coming from a beautiful losers run as well. You know, coming from the loss from Leon, just having to go against uh, Mateo, had to go against Ram, and then Jackal, the first seed. That's a huge upset. Yeah, you know, huge upset. Definitely one of the best sheiks to do it, man. I, I say all the time that this character is full of swag and style. And if you want to really challenge yourself to play a character that requires just playing on all cylinders at all time, I, I really think it's Sheik. You need your combo routes tight. You need your reads on point as well. And of course, once again, shout out to Jackal as well, who played extremely well tonight, but it is a web night here. And as you were saying, Mott, we're wishing uh, Web a very swift 3-0, but going up against Bowser when... Uh, you know, you're, you're chic, you're light. Uh, it's getting a little bit scary here, but once again, shout out to both players. Uh, it has always been a fantastic time at Fusion. You get some of Tri-State's just top talent every single week coming out here. Imagine going to your weeklies and it's a S tier. So once again, shout outs to both players, but we are moving on into grand finals here. We got the King Koopa, Leon coming back up to bat. Um, I do miss when he played Game & Watch because uh, that was funny. That's so random. Game yeah, & Watch? I'm serious. <laughs> Here, I have a very, like, core memory of Leon's Game & Watch, and it was from the old Fusion, like, before Fusion was Fusion, uh, back then, like, when Ultimate had just come out. Uh, he locked Adam.